See, the world was popping. Everybody want to be spiritual. It's his time to be spiritual. So y'all know we got to get spiritual. We got to break down some spiritual um, science right now. And we got to talk about what is influence. Because I know all my Sito world want to have a certain amount of influence. Um, you guys want to prevail in whatever you're doing. Whether that's your studies, your, you know, whatever you do, man. You're a designer. You know, you, you spit knowledge, whatever. You want to have a certain amount of influence. So we just going to break down what influence is and why it's important. <clears throat> So influence, when you when you look at the word in general, and y'all know me, Sito, I always like to break down the concept of shit. You know what I'm saying? Sito means concept. So influence, so that's your inner fluid. Now what is fluid? Fluid is everything. Everything is fluid. Now if you go to down to an uh, atom, you know what I'm saying, and, and you look at the split effect or the slit effect on YouTube, go to the uh, YouTube and look up the slit effect. And they found that when they shot atoms through two open slits, in it, which an atom is a particle, it, it behaved wave-like. You know what I'm saying? And it, it made a wave pattern. Now, when they observed this or they put a camera here to watch the atom, then they realized, oh, this shit didn't move. So it, it stayed a particle. So it, it, that means it didn't behave wave-like. So that tells us something. That you are a wave. Your atoms are made of waves. Your atoms are made of fluid. You get what I'm saying? That's what waves are. So you are influenced. So when, no, when nobody's watching you, that's why you behave like a wave. You get what I'm saying? And you give off a certain vibration. Now, how you feel about yourself <coughs> when you're alone Dictate, dictates what type of fluid you're vibrating on and what type of fluid you're giving off. So this is what influence means. You know what I'm saying? And when you go, and when you go around others, you can then dominate as your as your own dominate yourself because it's about dominating your cells, your atoms, and your 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 body to influence others. You get what I'm saying? You got to influence yourself before you can influence anybody else. Um, <clears throat> so I watched this video on YouTube called The Hidden... Uh, I think it was called... Uh, just look up um, on YouTube, The Hidden Forces That Shape Our Behavior by John Ber I mean, Jonah Berger. That's J-O-N-A-H. Berger with an E. B-E-R-G-E-R. And you'll come across the videos and it's like some little cartoon characters and they talk about atoms. It's like a four minute video. And they'll break down um, this experiment where um, they break down this experiment where it's some people at a dinner table and they're out to eat. And um, usually if you feel hungry or whatever and after dessert, I mean after dinner, and you want some dessert, you will say, yeah. But if you got like eight people at the table or some shit, it's like everybody and everybody say no, you're more than likely to say no as well because you're the last person. You say you're the last person. So that's influence. That's a certain influence. That's a certain, uh, that's, that's a study that he uh, studied in his book. And also it was another one where it was like three higher actresses. And... It was one person um, that wasn't an actress that was brought on to do this experiment. Now, the experiment was like this. So, I'm going to show you guys. Now, they showed them... Let me see. Now, they showed them these lines. These lines right here. And they said, which two lines are the same? And just because the first three people, A, B, and C, were paid actresses and actors, D, and they all chose this line, D, who wasn't an actress, chose this line as well, this long line. Well, he damn well knew it was that line. So this is... Speaking to that slit effect shit that 
when you around people, you're more than likely to act a certain way. That's why everybody like being, some people like being by themselves because it's just more comfortable. When, when, when shit is being observed, as in the slit effect, it becomes more dense. So this is why you cultivate your energy before you get around others so that you can maintain who you are under the pressure of others. Now, even if you look up influence on dictionary.com and go to thesaurus, go to the thesaurus, no, go to the synonyms. And one of the synonyms for influence is pressure. So that just tells you that when you give something attention, that it becomes more <clears throat> dense or it becomes more pressurized. So yeah, so everybody, I want everybody to cultivate their own influence because that's what we're here to do. You know what I'm saying? And by doing that, we um, allow ourselves to expand and contract. You know what I'm saying? And, and you have to, like I said, you have to influence your own emotions, your own waves. You know what I'm saying? And you do that by changing your moods, getting under certain things, temperature. So really, subconscious programming is just influencing your subconscious mind. You know what I'm saying? Or your subconscious reality. The Your atoms are a part of your subconscious reality because, you know, they will work on a subconscious level. So you got to influence uh, that and yourself to have any results. You know what I'm saying? The most influential people, when they, by themselves, they practice. You know what I'm saying? When they practice, you know? So, you got to, so you got to learn some type of self-control and practice on what you want to happen before it becomes a reality. You know what I'm saying? You have to give that energy attention and, and cultivate it and master it before you, anybody else knows anybody else do now people depend on other people um, to solidify their own energy and that's where self gratification comes in people want self gratification from others you know what I'm saying people want gratification from others you know what I'm saying and you really want some type of self control now I'm not saying everybody gonna be perfect but some type of self control to uh, work on what you need to work on. And that's really working um, with thyself, you know what I'm saying? And putting and, and tapping into your emotions. Now your emotions create your reality because you don't believe anything that you don't truly feel. You don't believe anything that you don't truly feel. And even if you even if you now, now you and now you could even now let's just say the sky you said the sky is blue or whatever. Now even if somebody teased you because you said no the sky is red and then that's what you believed as a kid and, and the whole cl class laughed at you. Now you believe subconsciously when you grow up that if you say it again then motherfuckers gonna laugh at you again. So you're not ever gonna say that. So it might not even believe you believe the sky is blue still. You might be just believe that that's a bad outcome. So you get what I'm saying? So it's it's tricky. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a certain type of influence that you want to be aware of. You get what I'm saying? Now, let's say you believe the sky is red, and you just you just believe that. Now it ain't even it ain't even the mere fact that the sky gotta look red. It's just you just did your study and your knowledge to know that that shit don't what 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 really matters is your own belief and your own subconscious. Now that's what really matters, right? That's what really matters. That okay, the universe is a hologram. The universe is real. So it's whatever. It's whatever color you want it to be. Your ego is the only thing that tells you, no, it isn't. You get what I'm saying? So, with that being said, you know, um, 
you know, that's a real, um, that's a real thing. You know what I'm saying? So just with that being said, the belief in knowledge and wisdom is a higher form of feeling. Like you might not even feel it like I feel it because I can perceive it with my five senses. You can be like, I know it because it makes sense. I didn't convince my ego through study and knowledge that it's not blue for real, you know what I'm saying? Or this isn't, this is my daughter's by the way, this isn't um, This isn't um, just cat ears. This is more than just cat ears, right? This is a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? What material is it? What, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of things that just make up that. And you are a lot of things. So, it, so the sky just ain't the damn sky. I go to tell you that in a minute. It's a lot. It's, it's, it's atoms. It's hydrogen. So the sky ain't blue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just you agreeing to say that the damn sky is blue. Now, the mere fact that uh, that uh, we agree on these things, we agree just because of consensus, consensus, and whatever. But just to have your own conviction is always always better. You could agree with motherfuckers, yeah, you know what I'm saying, because you don't got to really try to bam nothing into anybody else's head. Because that's not the point, but agreeing on a deeper level with self is what matters, because the soul is the only thing that exists. Remember that. So, um... I was looking up, I just want to give a shout out to um, the guy, um, Adam, or Atum, that's A-T-U-M, and A-T-E-M, because I, he created the first divine couple through masturbation, and remember what I was just saying, that's the guy, that's, that's Ra, or Atum, or Atum Ra, they're like, it's the same person, or same God, but they created, he created the God out of masturbation. Now, what do motherfuckers do when they're alone? You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers like to masturbate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he created a God named Shu, who was, the, who was the God of the air, and Tefna, who was the God of moisture. You know what I'm saying? That creates, you know what I'm saying? What does that create? Like clouds and shit, air and moisture, and rain and shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's manifest, manifestation in general. That creates a whole vibe. You know what I'm saying? That creates... You get what I'm saying? Creates that that particle. You know what I'm saying? That uh, that wave-like frequency. So I shade to those guys for and the ancestors for doing their work early on. They was on to some shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, um, yeah. So if you want to be an influencer, you have to deal with your inner fluid and you only can do that alone you know what I'm saying now when you get alone get off Instagram you know what I'm saying for a minute get off uh, uh, whatever you own uh, you know stop watching TV sit with yourself and you damn you and let all your thoughts pass and you're gonna start seeing how your thoughts flow and how your, and your, how your power, how you feel and what you feel you know what I'm saying and what you accept about yourself you know what I'm saying you got to start dealing with that and then once you start creating in that area from aloneness, what you know what I'm saying? You you doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? You're powerful then. You know what I'm saying? So uh, seek the world, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all. And uh, this was a quick video. And um, you know, I got a new song out, which is called You With Me. You know what I'm saying? And I thank everybody for supporting that. You know what I'm saying? And just be on my side. You know what I'm saying? And this is what I do, man. Don't I'm not I'm not a uh, I'm me. You know what I'm saying? And it's, you know I like being who I am. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I present that to everybody. I don't really care about uh, nothing's in my way, and nothing can stop me from achieving what I want to achieve. So. best believe, you know what I'm saying, you're going to get more of this, you're going to get more music, and whatever else the fuck I want to do. You feel me?
I love y'all. See the world. I'm out. Peace.